And now we've journeyed with Jesus, walked the, the road with him to the last few moments of his earthly life. And we stand at the foot of the cross, watching him surrender in dying. It was now only midday, yet the whole world became dark for three hours as the light of the sun faded away. And suddenly in the temple, the thick veil hanging in the holy place was ripped in two. Then Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Father, I surrender my spirit into your hands. And he took his last breath and died. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified. And in the garden, there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Then jo Joseph rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. And in the dying of Jesus, we too can experience and see our own dying. Here are some questions for our reflection. Mm -hmm. Has something died? Or is something dying in your own life or soul that might still come to life if given a chance? Or on the other side, is something died or something dying in your life or soul that needs to die? so that you might live more fully. Yeah. Have you been trying to live while enclosed in a tomb of your own or another's making? And if any of that is true, in what ways might God be inviting you to surrender to his love for you yet again yeah. so that you can experience release even in your most desperate times? God of life, help us to surrender our every dying this day and every day until our last day. Help us to surrender our dyings into your love that our souls can experience the safety of your embrace and your peace that passes all understanding. Amen. And now, Go again and listen to the song, All to Jesus. Take the time you need and then come back for the closing of our service. <laughs>